Hello everybody, so today we are back for our second go with the dribble bar. I'm spreading on two grass doubles after the silage today, or after the grass was cut. So we're just going to lay out some pipes, get our first joint done up. So we've already got three lengths of pipe out off the big reeler. Um, so we're going to drop two pipes off to do the first field behind us, going through the gateway there. And then we're going to roll up, lay out again, go over to the field here, the other side of the hedge, uh, and then backwards into the field behind us there. So. Got to be careful for the gate because the dribble bar is just a bit wider than the tractor when it's folded. It was easy with a splash plate, you could just backwards through pretty much anywhere. Um, it's a bit different now. You've got to mind a tree as well. Right. So two pipes out here is going to be a bit too long really. <coughs> but one pipe won't do half of it probably. So. You always need a little bit of slack for turning and I know when it goes the wrong way. Okay, so now we are laying out the final pipe. Again, we have got way too much to what we need, but we don't have anything shorter than 200 meters. That's the problem you get when you roll pipes up without a bit of tension on them. It doesn't go on tight enough and it can catch when you're unrolling. If you pull a, pull a full length of pipe, the weight of it will keep enough tension on it. But if you pull it, if you're roll, rolling up to, or when it's twisted and you know not in a straight line, it uh, does make things a bit harder to unroll. I'm going to spread that side first and then cross the pipe and come back. So I'm just going to go this side, go over, over the pipe, 
connect arm and get the pump running. So, radio, we are all set. Let's get out the pump and get some slurry coming. So we're getting along quite nicely now. We are two thirds of the way over the first field. Um, I did have a question. When we did the original video of this, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, well, it was, it was last week I filmed it. Yeah, it took a while, 10 days ago I filmed it. I don't know when it came out because there's been lots of videos in between. Um, one of the comments was, does it smell less with this system? Um, yes, it does. Um, that's the biggest majority of the reason why they're going to ban the splash plates is because when you're obviously, when you're splashing it, you're putting it in the air, um, you're wasting your ammonium, um, which is what causes the smell. Um, and that's what causes the pollution or the air pollution. And it's wasted nitrogen that is um, dispersed into the atmosphere rather than going to the soil. So by putting it straight on the soil uh, and reducing the smell, it's actually beneficial to the crop uh, and to us for getting all the nutrients available onto the soil and down into the plant. Um, so that's why splash baits are being banned, partly for smell, but for emissions. Um, and I think, I got a feeling, um, high high trajectory splash plates have been banned for some time in this country anyway. I think it's above four meters or something, you're not allowed to go spread above four meters. Uh, I think, you know, somebody will, somebody will pick me up if that's wrong. Um, but it's a, yeah, it's gone well, it's a good system. Uh, we're on to some slightly darker colored stuff now. Uh, when we started out, we were just pure parlor washings and it was a job to see where we were, you know, match up our, our rows. Um, we're coming, um, the tower is being stirred as we're emptying, so we're taking some slightly thicker stuff now, and uh, it's, it's easy. It's, it's easy to see. So you can quite clearly see the lines where we spread, and um, it is quite easy to match up our our widths now. So first field is done, we just got to roll up the two pipes we rolled out and then set them, set them back out again and then we will do the final two fields without rolling up until we finished. So there's the first one back on. Uh, I have disconnected the second one, so we'll pull it in and then roll it out again. It's, it's much easier than trying to roll that one up with it connected and, and roll it out. Just pull it right in and then join up again and go on. It's just easier. So there we go, all rolled up. Uh, we'll start it all over again now. So we've just got going into the second field. As you can see, it's coming out nice, leaving nice stripes where we've been. Um, it's very, it is very thin slurry, but as you can see, there's uh, 
Should be some goodness in it of that kind of colour.
So there we go, our three fields done. Um, I have to say, after the last <coughs> the last trial we did of it, or the first time we used it, um, I wasn't that taken with the process of dribbling over splash plate in. Um, that was pretty much down just because we were doing it on too much grass. Um, I couldn't see where I'd been and it was just a new thing to get used to. Um, today's been very different, it's thicker slurry <coughs> or it's darker, I can actually see where I've been, there's less grass so I can see the lines um, and it's a very much improved over the splash plate. Um, there is one little thing that we're going to change on the machine and I will show you. So these are the rams that fold the, the booms up, so when you saw me come through the gate into the third field it was folded up and then you saw it unfold you probably you might have noticed one of these pipes got tangled around this pin on the on the ram and um, it stuck out probably nearly two inches um, and the pipe just caught on it because they were folded up and slack uh, it caught once it was folded down um, so what I'm going to do the other end is just a flush a flush end of the pin so if we take this out turn it around the other way and uh, put the clip inside and that will then leave pretty much a smooth surface here um, so it won't catch. So today I've had one catch on either side uh, so it's clearly a problem that needs rectifying and um, it's easily done. Just turn the pins the other way um, and uh, you know, it's problem solved. So other than that it seems to be going well, it's a good machine. Um, nothing more to say really. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.